Hi, welcome to Nina in the Kitchen, where today we are making a very simple rustic Italian dish. And it's one of those, I call them genius dishes from Italy, in that very humble ingredients are used to make this fantastic dish. It elevates humble ingredients to gourmet heights. So um, it's called escarole with beans, and here's how you do it. We have escarole. This is one large head. It's been washed, well washed, and torn into pieces. We have one 15 ounce can of cannellini beans, but you can certainly do the soak and, and make them yourself. But these are already cooked, so that's an easy, uh, easy step. I have three cloves of garlic three tablespoons of olive oil are heating up in the pan. And we like these hot crushed red peppers, pepperoncino. We like these, so I'm going to add a little bit of that. And then we serve these, and so I'm making this part of the recipe because this just goes so well together. I'm serving this with some what I call croutons. Well, I don't call them, they <laughs> but this is, I'm, I'm just doing basically large toasts or croutons and that's going to be in done in an olive oil with garlic so basically a garlic bread if you will here we go this just the oil gets these garlic cloves and you want them to just sort of steep in that oil and let the flavors meld together so I'm going to give that a couple of minutes in the meantime, this is on a low heat. I'm also going to flavor the oil with some red pepper. Now you don't want this garlic to brown at all. You just want it to steep in there. When this garlic becomes fragrant, that's when you know it's ready and you know something good is coming. <laughs> the, you can see the oil is a little darker and that's due to the red pepper that's in there. Oh, this smells so good. So now, all that you have to do is put your escarole in this pot. You can add a little chicken broth at this point. I'm just going to put some water in there. And um, actually using water in here makes this dish vegan. I'm just putting a lid on this. I'm going to put it on medium-low heat and I'll check it in 10 minutes. So while the escarole is cooking, I thought I would show you how to do the croutons. Now, of course, you want to time this so that the escarole is ready at the same time. And by croutons, I mean just big pieces of toast that I'm putting in a pan of oil that's been infused with garlic. So it's sort of a garlic crouton, garlic bread idea. And this is how I do it. One clove of garlic that I'm going to smash. And you do that just to let all of these oils get into this olive oil, the oils from the garlic. Now, in a few minutes, this garlic, which is now raw, will be soft and creamy looking. And that's what I'm looking for. After that, I will put the croutons into the oil. It's been 15 minutes and now I'm just testing this escarole. And this is looking pretty good. It's almost finished. So I'm just going to add these beans. You see it's wilty, but if you, if you look at this white part, that's still not cooked all the way through. And I, I want it a little softer than al dente. So this will just sit here for another, I'm gonna give it about five, seven minutes, something like that. In the meantime, I'm gonna park this on the back burner <laughs> and bring the croutons over here and show you how to finish up the croutons. Well, this is how I do my garlic croutons. I have, I have oil in the pan and it's just enough to cover the bottom. I put a garlic clove in there 
And if I, if you remember, I said that what you want to do is, um, what you want to do is wait until it's kind of creamy and cooked through. Well, this has been on a low, slow burner for about 10 minutes. And so while the escarole was cooking, this has also been going very low, slow heat. And now all of this, if you can see, it mashes up very easily. I'm going to remove this though, but the oils and the flavor of the garlic has been left behind in the oil, which is exactly what I want. It's very fragrant, really, really delicious. So I, I've taken it out, and now I'm just going to bump the heat up to a medium. Crusty bread goes in, cut side down. I want to get a good toast on this. So to ensure that it's an even heat, what I'm going to do is just put a piece of foil over this. And that's really just so I don't have to clean the bottom of this pot. But I'm putting a pot on top and just the, the weight from that pot will make sure that those brown nicely. That'll take just a few minutes. This looks really good. It smells good. I'm just going to add some pepper some black pepper. You can add cheese to this too, but it really doesn't need it. You, um, that's optional. Now you just mix this up. And this is the escarole. Look at how much this cooked down. That's amazing. But you want it nice and soft like that. Let me get a few beans. And these are the garlic toasts. And I'm just going to take some of this and kind of spread it on here. But it should be a little garlicky anyway. It should be a little garlicky anyway, just because of the oil that it was in. Mmm, that's good. What I like to do is take a little veg and a little beans and put them on a toast and eat it that way. Mmm. It's excellent. And the cannellini beans, nice and creamy. The escarole has a rich finish to it. It's an excellent dish. Well, now I'm getting a little poke from those red peppers I put in. I love that. Not too much, just a little poke. Mmm, very good. Like I said, this is a great vegan dish, but it's a great side dish to a roast. It's a nice lunch if you have a nice crusty bread to eat with it. I love this dish and I hope that you try it. Very simple. Go to ninainthekitchen.net for the recipe and please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye guys.